I filmed these lights a while back, I think in 2019 or something when I came through here, but my phone died, or ran out of memory, or something. Anyway, I didn't really, I feel like I didn't get a full good walk around of this intersection, and it's like kind of its weirdness. Uh, last time, there was, I had a right turn overlap here, but the yellow, like the amber arrow came on. And then it would just like go right to the green ball, but I feel like it was supposed to be tied to the green arrow. Anyway, we're gonna take a look. We're kind of in some weird spots too. It's got the walk sign. We got louvers here too, so you can only see them from the lane. split phase here, I think. So it runs green and flashing arrow. So we just have a regular green ball instead of no right turn signal. Yeah, louver so you only can see it in that lane, I guess. It's yellow, okay, so it's all yellow. And then it runs split phase in that direction. Must have actual sensors so the right turn arrow didn't actually come on. So last time I was here, I think there was a left turn. Yeah, we'll take a walk around. We'll take a look at the weirdness here, I guess. So they got a lot of head signals on this pole, a lot of signals in general. But the Montreal bull, Bulldogs. So we got a six section. We got red, yellow, green, through arrow for the logic, for the, I guess, the leading arrow, or what is it? Leading, yeah, leading through arrow, LTA? Anyway, there's a there's a new term for it. It's like a leading through arrow, LPI. I always call it the Montreal Advanced Arrow. And that head signal over there actually has louvers on it, so you can only see it from certain angles. Split phase. Maybe the right turn overlap only comes on with the double, with the left indication here. are just for the side street because it rests and walk. I thought that these had a lagging double left.
is a lightning double left too, look at that. So one of those cars in both either left turn lane at light gets them out of there. Okay, so we'll have to check that right turn over that on the next phase. Yeah, I don't know why they don't flash the uh, flash the arrow on this uh, split phase. Like they have the arrow there. But maybe it was a leading you know what? Maybe at one time this wasn't uh this wasn't running split phase. Maybe it was running like a leading through arrow and it was permissive. Yeah, isn't that funny? Okay, so that one's green, and then this is actually a pet overlap here, so this one will actually go green with uh, the side street, or with the other split phase. Oh, yeah, look at those movers. I've never seen that before. There seems to be some sensors here. I wonder if there's no call on the side street. If that amber arrow comes on to bring it back to the main street. Or if there's like no call to bring up. Or if it skips the uh, this phase. Maybe it will just gap out. And then it will just... Yeah, go green, amber, and then we'll go back to the main street again instead of going from green right to go green right to green. That's kind of cool though. So we'll see if it skips the left turn phase here. That, so green, permissive green. I'm surprised that the it doesn't hold the green arrow since it is a protected only movement. Like it could be green, it could just carry over into this, and then it could go yellow, yellow arrow. Gives it makes it more adaptive, but whatever. So that's good. So that's back to walk so people don't get confused here. All right, so yeah, it's a little bit more adaptive. Please. Uh, that's her.